average. Bitcoin rallied beyond $39,000 on Sunday, its highest level in four weeks. As Mobinasa reports, investors are being encouraged by reports of rising acceptance for cryptocurrencies among some of the world's biggest companies. It ships more than one and a half million packages a day, and with annual revenue of nearly $400 billion, Amazon is the world's most popular marketplace. Now, the company says it's looking to hire an executive to develop its digital currency and blockchain strategy. We're inspired by the innovation happening in the cryptocurrency space and are exploring what this could look like on Amazon. We believe the future will be built on new technologies that enable modern, fast and inexpensive payments and hope to bring that future to Amazon customers as soon as possible. That's fueling expectations that the world's largest retailer may soon begin accepting cryptocurrencies for payments. Electric car maker Tesla began doing that at the start of this year, but stopped a few weeks later on concerns over the use of fossil fuels in cryptocurrency mining. Now, CEO Elon Musk says the company could soon resume accepting Bitcoin payments. Other influential investors like fund manager Kathy Wood and Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey are also optimistic about the future of digital currencies. If the internet gets a chance to get a native currency, um, what will that be? And, and to me, it's Bitcoin because of those principles, because of that creation story, because of its resilience, uh, because of the number of tests it's been. But what what inspires me the most is just community driving it. It's, it just reminds me of the early internet. It's Encouraged by these developments, investors poured $114 billion into cryptocurrencies in the 24 hours to Monday morning. That's helped drive the price of Bitcoin up by 11% to more than $39,000, its highest level since June the 16th. And popular alternatives like Ethereum, XRP and Cardano also rallied by more than 10%. But even ardent supporters of digital money say its widespread adoption faces significant challenges like volatility in prices and a lack of scalability. Um, but transaction volume is, is low, uh, transaction, transaction cost is high, uh, and usability for the average person is, is, not, is not yet very good, but it has a lot of potential. Developers and cryptocurrency miners say technology can help overcome these hurdles over time and that acceptance on a world-renowned platform like Amazon will go a long way to convincing people to put their trust and wealth in cryptocurrencies. Mubin Nasser, TRT World. For more on this, Gareth Cleverly joins us now from Oxford. He's a digital asset expert at Daxi, which is a crypto exchange and wealth platform. Good to have you on the program, Gareth. Firstly, we know that volatility is no stranger to cryptocurrencies. We, we've seen the price of Bitcoin soar to that record high in mid-April of nearly $65,000. It then slumped to below uh, $30,000 uh, just last week, and now it's back up to almost $40,000. What's behind this latest boost to the price of Bitcoin? Of course, uh, good afternoon, pleasure to be here. So first and foremost, you've kind of summed it up very well in your VT there, that the, the main two driving factors in most recent weeks have been the, the B Word conference with Elon Musk, Jack Dorsey and Kathy Wood. Uh, they talk very positively about digital assets. Uh, overall, Elon Musk confirmed it as well. He, he expects Tesla to once again accept Bitcoin and other digital currencies as a form of payment for Tesla. Uh, fundamentally making a full U-turn on his announcement a few months ago where he said that he would um, not accept Bitcoin. So that's a very good thing for the industry itself. And the second and most recent being the news that Amazon itself, uh, based on your video there, uh, the world's largest company and largest retailer are gearing up to accept uh, a small number of cryptocurrencies as payment on the Amazon site. Uh, this drove Bitcoin's as highest level since due, uh, having a knock on effect to the top 20 crypto assets, which make up over 99% of the whole marketplace, believe it or not, uh, with a substantial 24 hour gain uh, to, you know, crypto marketplace now is over $1.5 trillion. Uh, Bitcoin itself has seen a massive surge in price of uh, just under 12% of the last 24 hours as well. Uh, all of these things combined uh, have good mainstream possibilities and a good understanding. And also these people uh, are very well respected and trusted in the crypto digital asset industry. As we know, it really is hard to forecast uh, the movement of Bitcoin and other <laughs> cryptos because it is so volatile. But what do you expect to happen with the price of Bitcoin going forward? Will it continue to increase or, or could it be hit by another slump going forward? 
Okay, well, that, that's the million dollar or the billion dollar question, uh, I suppose. So, for, from ourselves, crypto is, is volatile. The overall trend is positive, uh, but expect substantial corrections. Uh, we lost around 50% uh, between May and July. It was at $58,000 down to $29,000. Uh, however, the stock flow models, which has uh, been broadly correct so far, they expect Bitcoin to be worth in, uh, around circa 100,000 US dollars by year end. And we don't see that being uh, you know, too far from the truth. Mm. Now, as you mentioned, there was, there is still a lot of excitement about the fact that Amazon has advertised for a cryptocurrency product lead. Uh, a lot of people are speculating that that could lead to Amazon, which is the world's biggest e-commerce platform, uh, accepting cryptos in the near future. How game-changing would that be? What would that mean for the price of Bitcoin and others? It's a huge thing for the industry. That the the issue and, and the thing that we strive for every day is to make uh, cryptocurrency and digital assets more mainstream and more understandable. Uh, the, the the biggest issue with cryptocurrency and digital assets is the education around it uh, that, that is lacking, uh, and the industry itself, specifically retail investors, don't really have much access to education. That's what we are actually trying to change. Uh, we've been anticipating this for many years. Um, so to make them more mainstream, you don't really get more mainstream than Amazon itself. Uh, to affect the retail buyer, the asset class is our, is, really gives them the understanding that the cryptocurrency has a real use case and a real need to exist. Uh, hoping, from my point of view, that it, those who doubt it and the skeptics around the asset truly accept that it's here to stay uh, and understand how it can be used and highlight the enormous benefits seeking out, and I hope seeking out further education around the asset class so that we can all understand it better moving forward because it really is an asset class that's here to stay uh, and Amazon approving that for us. Okay, Gareth Cleverly from Daxi, we'll have to leave it there. But thank you again for joining us on the program.